Let's make a green herb omelet. First, mix up your eggs and make sure they are ready before you heat up your pan. Mixing the eggs are very important. As we know, the white is more stickier than the yellow because the lack of fat. Make sure to heat up your pan. We use the water drop method. The water is going to start glide and dance around the pan. Now you know your pan is nice and hot. Use a paper towel to wipe down the excess water. Let's get started. For this I'm using olive oil. Why? Because butter tends to brown and I want my omelette nice and white. The oil is another indicator when it's moving loosely in your pan that your pan is nice and hot. Put in your green onions, some chopped parsley, using a rubber edge spatula you're going to move the green onions and the parsley around the pan. We're not looking for color, just to sweat them down a bit. Next, you're going to pour in your egg mixture. You pour it all the way around and into the middle. What we're going to do now is use the spatula to move the edges in and then we're going to tilt the pan a little bit to have the excess egg go right in to those edges. As you notice, nothing will stick because the pan is perfectly heated and I'm cooking this on a medium heat. Perfect eggs take a bit time and heat control is everything. So it's okay to lift up your pan once in a while to control the heat. As soon as it's starting to dry out just a little bit, you want to start folding the egg in. You start with the top, with the bottom, you make sure it's nice and tight. And now you can use your spatula to flip it or, you know what? I'm going to use the high-rise lip to give it a quick flip. Look at that. Perfect. Get your plate. Garnish with some tomatoes, cucumbers, basil, and radishes to make it pretty. And there you have it. Perfect breakfast, super nutritious, and very lean. The cleanup is super easy. A wet paper towel a few wipe around and you're ready for your next dish enjoy be cool be rad